Now we have our tree trunk made, we need to alter it slightly to look less like a rectangle and well, more like a tree trunk. Now to do that, we're going to utilize something called the free transform tool. We're going to make the top of the box slightly thinner, tapering it, but leaving the bottom the same width. The only downside is that our basic tools panel does not include the free transform tool. It's a real shame because it is a, an important tool and it's handy to have, even if you're new to Illustrator. So to access it, well, we need to go up to the window menu and go to toolbars and pick what's called the advanced toolbar. Now we're going to stick with this advanced toolbar going forward. When that pops up on screen, before you go to the free transform tool, do make sure that you have an object selected. So I've still got my selection tool active. Do make sure your tree trunk rectangle is selected. And then the free transform tool is in the center of the tools panel. You can also tap the E key on the keyboard to get to that tool. Now it's really important that you do have something selected because you won't be able to utilize this tool unless you do beforehand. Now, when I click on that, it gives us a pop out of the transform options. Now it's probably best if I just drag that to the side of my object in here, what this will allow us to do is things like scale. So you can take your cursor to the corner and that will allow you to scale and rotate. That's why we get the very strange symbol in there. We, on the other hand, need to go to the center symbol in here called perspective distort. When I click on that, it will allow me to hover my cursor over one of the corners. It's important to go to one of the white nodes on the corners and then click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag towards the center. You can drag away from the middle of your object to increase the tapering width, but we're going to drag towards the center to make the top edge of that rectangle roughly half of the bottom edge and then let go of the mouse and it updates your object like so. And then once you're done, switch back to your selection tool and the pop-up for the free transform will disappear.